Hi, beautiful friends from around the world. With a general reading for the sign of cancer, this could resonate with anyone who has cancer strongly in their chart. Um, I'm going to um, forego the general warnings that I usually say and just remind everyone here of the power you have in your own life, um, of, the, of the strength that you have within yourself, and um, of the connection you have with your spiritual team. All right, let's go ahead and see what uh, message there is here for the sign of Cancer. Um, looking into the energies that are happening now for Cancer. What is happening now with Cancer, please? What is happening now with Cancer? What is happening now with, with the Cancer tribe? What is happening now with the Cancer tribe? What is happening now with Cancer? Look at these tens that we have here. So there's a change about, yeah, there's a change about coming. Um, currently we have two tens, and I know these are a little bit far away from you, but we have the ten of wands in the upright and the ten of pentacles in the reverse, right? Ten of pentacles in the reverse. So that tells me that there is some sort of transformation going on here. It's not a major transformation. It's not like a major life event. I don't see the death card. I don't see... Um, I, I don't see some major, major energies here, but I do see there's a transformation um, in something for you, um, Cancer. There's a transformation here. So let's see what the message is for Cancer in the next 7 to 10 days. What is the, the message for Cancer in this next 7 to 10 days? We have Four of Swords came in um, on its side, which tells me something. We have the Fool energy here in the upright. Justice in the upright. Yeah, there is a there is a transformation here. Seven of Wands in the reverse. One more energy, please. And Seven of Swords in the upright. So um, very interesting energies here for you, Cancer. Let's look at guidance. Guidance for Cancer for the next. 7 to 10 days, guidance for Cancer for the next 7 to 10 days. The sun in the upright and eight of cups in the upright. Wow, there's a major victory coming. There's a major transformation. Um, energy of love in the um, reverse, but the energy of love is here. So there is some major work being done here um, with, with, your, with how you feel about the world around you, how you feel about your health, um, how you feel about the just general the love energy within you all right so you have this current energy of the ten of wands in reverse i mean ten of wands ten of wands in the upright so this is telling me you're at a place um where you really can't take much more right you you were pretty much you're pretty much pushed to your bound to your limits with what you can take on in your life so there's something here that is just pretty overwhelming for you um you're wanting to con connect back in with that abundant energy, with the safety energy, with the protection energy, with, with having safety and security in your life, having enough money to do what you need to do. Or there's something here that has taken that away from you. So something has taken that away from you, Cancer. Um, but, and, and we see um, you working here to really see the truth of that. So that's what's in your current energy. You're you're working to see the truth of that. So um, while this this the nun is um, on has has heard something on her doorstep here, she heard something on her doorstep, and she and she knew that there was a storm outside. And storms probably scare her a little bit. Um, she was probably sitting in her in her recliner next to the lamp and and hoping that the electricity would stay on and nothing would happen to the home and she was kind of huddled down because there's a storm and there's a huge rainstorm um and she and she heard some knocking um and she heard some noises on the front porch and she thought well maybe that was just the storm maybe something just hit the door and so she just kind of stayed in that space um preferring the unknowing preferring the safety and security of her shelter, um, but but realizing that the shelter itself could it was vulnerable. That kind of an energy. So that's the energy that we have now. So that's where you sort of are right now. But we see you now getting the strength 
to get up and to walk over to the door and open the door. And when you open the door, you will see something so profound that there will be clarity for you. So what the nun has done as she has gotten up out of her safety and she has moved over to the unknowing, she has opened the door and she has allowed herself to see some sort of truth. And that truth is going to bring profound clarity and it will connect her in with new actions in her life. Right. She's going to pick up the baby and take it into the house. And so uh, it, there's going to be a great relief with this for you. There will be a great relief in the truth. And it is just a process now of figuring out what that is. So that's where you are right now in this period of time for um, for cancer. And you can you can go quite deep in this cancer because you are a water sign and there is rain here. So that tells me that you are in the motions of this. You are in the emotions of this. There is something is pushing you to the brink here. And, and, um, for me anyway, sometimes that brink is needed. Um, some of us are quite strong. We are very tenacious in, in our strength. And sometimes we need to be pushed, um, for us to see something quite important for us because there is something missing here for you. Something about safety and security safety in your finances, safety in your home, something here um, has been taken away from you here with the Ten of Wands. Whether you have um, done that to yourself or other people have done that to you, there is a need here for you to take control in something, take back your control in something and step into your own power and drop the burdens that have been placed on you. Whether you have placed those burdens on yourself or others have placed them on you. This is about your own revolution. This is about in finding your own freedom here to allow yourself to live differently, allow yourself to drop the burdens. And um, part of that process for you is discovery. It is research. It's digging into what this is. And if you can think of this as, as something that is um, what a scientist would figure out, if you could think of it in this way, I think it would, because there is some desire here for the truth here with the two of two of swords and, and figuring out what the truth is. You've been pushed to the brink here and I do see there's a break. So in the future, they're, they're saying in the next seven to 10 days, there's a beautiful energy here of the four of swords with the fool energy and the justice energy. This is a powerful, powerful, beautiful new change in energy. So what I'm seeing here is that currently you are seeing the truth or you will be seeing the truth of this very soon. The facts will be laid in front of you, whether you uncover them or whether they're brought to you. It is a gift from the universe. It is a gift from your spiritual team and it is a sign of your deep strength, cancer in your, of your deep strength within yourself um, to, to do this. This is a powerful, powerful reading, even though it's for the next seven to 10 days. Um, there's a lot of transformation going on in the universe right now. I'm serious. Um, it took me several days to get to the place um, where I could go into these energies. There's so much turmoil in the energies right now. There's so much movement in the energies. Um, so we have the Four of Swords. Um, we have the Four of Swords here with the Fool. So it looks like you're going to be finding the truth, and this is going to be bringing relief to you. Um, sometimes the truth, even though it can be hard, even though we have to look deep within ourselves, and sometimes we have to recognize what, what story we've played, what part we've played in this journey. Um, whatever this is for you, it is going to allow you to come out of some kind of fight and move into a more healing place. Um, I don't see you solving the issue um, this week. I don't see you solving it, but I see you finding um, the truth of it. And I see you having epiphanies and realizations about what it is that you're needing to do. And I think that brings a relief. Sometimes the hardest part of a journey is not being able to see the way forward. And I think for many of you, you are starting to see the way forward now. And um, that is bringing relief. I do see the full energy. So there's something you're changing. There's something new you're doing. This is a very excited fool. Okay. And that's a funny way of saying it, but there is a lightness to this. There's something about this that brings answers to you and a new direction forward with the fool energy. This might be a new strategy that you're taking and whatever this is. Okay. Um, this is about money. This is about safety and security in your life. And I do see that there is a new strategy that you're taking that's going to bring equality into your experience. And I think you're feeling this new energy. Um, you're feeling the reality of it. You're feeling it actually come to play. So it's something that is maybe not a huge thing. It's again, it's not a life changing. It's not a divorce. It's not, um, a new, it's, it's not 
something major. It's it's something that is a smaller bump in your road. It's something that doesn't go as deep. You know, sometimes I say we're all going, we're all moving at different speeds. We're all going through different depths of experiences. I think this experience for you, it doesn't go all the way down. It doesn't drop you to your knees. It doesn't get you in a total surrender, but it does show you the light. It shows you the, the facts of the situation and it brings you out of this place of stagnancy because you're not sure how to relieve yourself from this situation. And it allows you to move forward in a new way, trying a new strategy, doing something you haven't done before. And you see fairly quickly um, that this brings in new equality for you. You're going to see resu results in this fairly quickly in this new strategy that you take. It's something new. It's something different. Um, and it allows you to come in out of this fierce battle. It brings relief and healing. Um, there could even be prayer and meditation. And I do feel like there is here, there is prayer and there is meditation and there is connecting into the divine um, because there are scars here. There are wounds here from this and um, you, you are quite tired. So there is rest needed. We always need to rest, my beautiful friends. We must rest. Um, some of us have worked hard all of our lives. We have worked hard. We have struggled. We have maintained our own sanity. Um, and there are times when we just need to come in out of the battle and take some time to rest. And that is what we see here, that you're able to rest, that you're able to relax, that you're able to come out of the battle, spend time in solitude, spend time in your own sanctuary, connect up with that divine energy, that energy that gives you strength, that gives you guidance, that connects you in with the heavens connect into that energy that is yours and yours alone, that it comes in directly to you as a human being, a gift from the universe, and it is for you to use in your rest and in your relaxation and in your healing, because we do see you coming out of this situation in a new way, and that's quickly bringing you equality in this experience. The seven of wands is in reverse, which tells me this is about creating boundaries. This is about self-advocacy, self-representation, learning how to speak your truth, because there is a revision here with the seven of wands in reverse and the seven of swords in the upright. It tells me that there is a need here for new boundaries, for the strengthening of boundaries, the strengthening of your own rules for yourself and the rules for other people who step into your space. You do have rules for what you will accept and what you will, um, what you will allow into your space. What are those rules? What, are, what is the, what are the rules of being in your space? What are the rules of being a friend to you? What are the rules of being a lover to you? What are those rules? What do you stand in front of? Um, what do you hold for your own guidance in your own life? Uh, because we do see a revision here. We do see um, some sense of betrayal or of a theft of something that was yours, a theft of your time, a theft of your energy, a theft of your thoughts. Um, are you not getting credit for your work? Are you that, you know, whatever this is, um, there is a need here to step up and say, this is mine. This is my space. This is my work. This is my life. This is my energy. This is my path. These are my rules. I don't need to make rules for you. And I don't need to make rules for your space. And I don't need to make rules for what you're doing, but in my space and for what I'm doing and for the life I'm wanting to lead, these are my rules and this is what I will allow. And this is what is not accepted. And I am changing something now. So basically this is about um, flipping the energy of betrayal and theft and, and just uh, protecting yourself in a much more firm way, firm and passionate way for yourself. And this is what's happening in the next seven to 10 days. So there is a flipping of this energy and it's quite beautiful. Um, it's very much a victory week. It's a very much a victory week for you. And what's beautiful about it is that you have healing and rest and prayer and meditation in the action, in the action. So this is um, um, something major has been learned here that you're putting into practice for yourself, Cancer. The guidance here is the sun upright, the eight of cups in the upright and the, and the, um, the night of cups in the in the reverse so what is not happening here that they're saying is going to begin to happen is you're going to begin to have a different um, energy about you an energy of um, power an energy of empowerment is what is it's more it's resonating more than power an energy of empowerment knowing your own self-worth knowing what is truly yours knowing your path ahead and moving forward with optimism with strength 
with not allowing anyone to diminish the fire within you. This is a very, um, and I love that the sun energy is over the top of the fool. So there's something here that's pushing you forward quite strongly in this new, in this new endeavor, this new strategy that you're taking. You're walking away from something here that wasn't fair. The Eight of Cups is over the top of the judge, judge, the justice energy, and it's over the top of the Seven of Wands, which is in reverse. So you're walking away from an old way of thinking. Um, whether you give to people, maybe you're a hairdresser, right? Maybe you're a hairdresser. And um, I'm, I'm just thinking of a friend of mine. Um, it, maybe you're a hairdresser and you feel like it's part of your job to sit, um, to, to stand and, and work with people and absorb all of their stories, all of their negativity, all of the pain in their life. And you take it into yourself and you think that's a part of your story. That's a part of what you do. That's a part of your job. But, but you realize that as they leave the room, as they leave your area, um, they go away happy. They go away relieved, don't they? They go away feeling good about life. And how do you feel? Are you exhausted? Did you take on all their energy? Did you take on all their troubles? Did you take that onto yourself? And is that something that you should do? Is that something that's healthy for you? Is there another way to spend that time with those people, um, with your clients? Maybe there's a way to put on soft, relaxing, meditational music, or maybe there's a way to listen to um, a funny comedian um, um, or a performance or a show while you, um, there, there is just a different way uh, and you're coming up with that. So that's enough of that analogy. I think you understand what I mean here. Um, when I talk about walking away from something that, um, that, that it, 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 there is a need here to create boundaries and walking away a, of an old perspective of what you thought your role was. What is your role as a wife or what is your role as a lover? What is your role as an employee? What is your role as a coworker? Right? What is your role as a service worker? What is your role as a medical worker? What are you there to do? Because there's a change in how you think about what your role is. And this role allows you to move forward and revise your walk and create stronger boundaries uh, around your own personal health. And we see here that you, while you are giving out a lot of love, um, you're ultimately at the end of the day feeling deprived. You're feeling deprived of love. You're feeling deprived of compassion. You're ending up the day um, feeling the opposite of those that you um, work to serve. And so there is a need here to flip this energy of love, to flip it and create a more equal experience for yourself. Um, create a more loving energy where you truly um, aren't because sometimes when we overgive, sometimes we, when we continually give, we can give with this weird energy. Okay. So let me, before I stop, um, let me go into this energy that I feel just a little bit because I think it's important. So the energy that I feel here, Cancer, is an energy of the reverse Knight of Cups. And what that tells me is, and I've been in this energy before in my life. So I, I, I even struggle with it. This is something that we all, many of us here, we struggle with this and we're going through, but I'm sitting here and rubbing my forehead as I talk. Okay. So let me get into the energy of this. When we give, sometimes we feel like we have a role, but it depletes us. It makes us very tired. And so when we give, we continue the same same behaviors, but we do it in with an inner resentment, right? We do it with an inner resentment. I'm getting really deep into the shadow now. So this is the shadow. This is what we're looking at. We're doing it with an inner resentment because there's something within us that feels like it's unfair, right? It feels like it's unfair. We are not getting, um, excuse the noise, um, there is noise outside my door. Um, we are not getting equality in this experience. Something about this is unfair. And so as we give, as we move forward in this love energy, we, we have this inner resentment because there's something here that doesn't feel fair to us. And we really um, haven't put our fingers on this yet. We haven't really put our fingers on this. And as you create more um, if, as, as you firm up these rules, as you firm up these boundaries for yourself, it's going to allow you to move forward in a much more healthy energy of love. It's going to be true, healthy energy of love. 
Um, so there's a need here to take this energy and focus this on, focus it on your internal health and really dig deep at what is creating this um, need within you to adjust something. What is that? What is it inside of you that is needing equality? What is it inside of you that is needing justice? And once you have determined what it is that's needing justice, what it is that is needing this energy of love, and you can create boundaries around that and start protecting it, then you can be move. Then you can begin moving forward in this much more um, healthy energy of love. And this Knight of Cups energy will flip to the upright. But what's beautiful here and what's profound here is we have the Sun in the upright and the Eight of Cups in the upright. So what? What, what we see here is forward movement, you making profound changes in the way you move forward, new, um, new health, new vitality, new wealth and abundance is here for you with this new strategy that you're taking. So while this isn't an, a, a situation that drops you to your knees in full surrender, it is a situation that is helping you to see how to uh, move forward in a much more healthy way. And it is bringing in new equality for you, new successes, new victories for you. All right, Cancer. So I am going to dig deeper now in the extended um, into this new into this new energy that you're taking on. I'm going to dig deeper into this new equality that you have here. Um, we're going to look at the people that are around you and dig into their intentions as well. So I'm going to look into the sun. I'm going to look into the fool and the justice energy. And then we're going to look at the people who are around you and look at what their intentions are. Um, that's how I'm going to build out the story. I'm going to go down rabbit holes this week, Cancer. Um, I'm going down rabbit holes because um, the energies are just so, um, it, it, it's, there's so many changes going on in the universe right now. It's, it, this is maybe the only way I can kind of make some sense of everything that's happening for all of us. All right, Cancer. So, um, I, if you're, if you're looking for more information, feel free to move to the extended. The link to that is below. Um, and if you're happy with this reading, if you feel that this is sufficient, that makes me happy too. Um, and I wish you all the best and I will see you back out on YouTube um, in the next seven to 10 days. Thank you. Thank you, Cancer.